Jesus asked them, whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. As soon as he said unto them, I am he, they went back and fell on the ground. Jesus was bold like a lion. And Jesus is the gold standard of Christianity. And if you claim to be a child of God, you have to be bold like a lion. And you know what they say about lions. Lions don't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. For you to become everything God has intended for you to become, to reach the heights God has planned for you, it demands boldness. It demands boldness to be a child of God. It demands boldness to walk by faith and not by sight, to go where you've never walked before. It demands boldness to reach for what you've never reached for before. It demands boldness to win. It demands boldness to break chains. It demands boldness to fight when you're tired. It demands boldness to be above average. It demands boldness to be more than a conqueror. Boldness, boldness, boldness. I don't think you understand me. The door is open to those bold enough to knock. It says in the word of God, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. Society where we have access to many religions, how do we decide which one to follow? Well, I only know one way of deciding which of anything to believe is on the basis of evidence. You see, there's a confusion about faith. Many people have accepted Dawkins' definition of faith as believing where there's no evidence. That's nonsense. Faith is an ordinary word. It's not just a religious word. It's an ordinary word. It means trust. And usually, I suspect that all of you, you don't trust either facts or people without having evidence, or else you're a bit silly. And your bank manager won't trust you with a loan unless you provide evidence of collateral. Isn't that true? We all know what evidence-based faith is. Come on, y'all. Use your mind. Open it. Like, really think about this. Really think of, that's why I said, I can look at spirituality and know how it is forsaking the Lord by knowing the Bible. By knowing Satan tricks. By knowing Satan's schemes, by knowing the Lord. It says the fear of the Lord co um, comes wisdom. The first thing when it comes to wisdom and understanding is first fearing the Lord. And that literally, the, the wisdom, the knowledge, it will come to you. For the Lord is gracious when it comes to wisdom. Anybody that asks for wisdom and understanding, the Lord shall give it. And when you start really asking for wisdom and understanding, how I'm putting two and two together... Like the beginning message of the scripture, putting the pieces and the puzzles together. Right here. You'll be able to do it. Somehow compensate for my lack of strength. I could prove it. My goal was to work myself relentlessly every day until I mastered something. And it worked. My counter punch is the result. Oh. What's up, you all? Welcome to Catching puzzle pieces gaining new insights receiving new revelations for example here I'm gonna share this with you all this this bit this golden nugget it's a bit of with bit of wisdom uh, from Tim Koa the more times you spin the wheel the more green slices there will be. And the only way to lose is to stop spinning. Because it, this right here, for example, is something that I have struggled, right? Not what his video is about, uh, that I haven't gotten into yet. Right here, I'm just, I'm, that's why I just share the clip where we have a puzzle piece, right? A puzzle piece is a new insight, a new revelation, a golden nugget. Uh, that is going to help us on the journey of our day, of our week, of our life, right? So here, for example, this, this puzzle piece is for me. Because uh, if you think about it, like when I've played Super Mario with my children, uh, 
one of them she gets so angry so pissed we, in the past she was when we have played right recently i haven't played with them yet so i'm talking more about four months ago five months ago six months ago the last time that i remember this happening uh one of them she was getting upset because she wasn't as good as the other sisters right and which i i already understood and i knew what was going on right with her but here for example if i show this to her to my daughter and i teach this to her and i teach it to myself because i've never heard this before actually myself right in my whole 39 years of life i have never heard this this uh i don't know what is what this be called an analogy a i'm trying to think of the word that they use for for jesus parable i don't know if this is a parable or an analogy right but because i haven't done the research to what those de the definition to those words are but uh so as we run this through through our mind continually we memorize it and then our mind uh automatically it orders it it puts it in the right spot this puzzle piece right uh for example right there with my daughter i could show her this whenever we're playing mario and then she gets upset and she's like why is my sister always beating me and better than me right uh i can show her this uh and then she could be like okay i just need to keep on trying keep on trying keep on trying and eventually i'll get uh one of these green slices we're gonna play the video and then from there you'll know you'll understand what i'm talking about because even right now i just learned this so i don't even i haven't memorized it myself so i'm this is something that i'm i'm gonna run through my mind just like with everything else that i have shared with y'all right up until now uh and this is this is what i have discovered you all this is what i have discovered you all that i want to share with you all that i get to share with you all uh and it's up to you you can run it through your mind if you want uh if it doesn't resonate with you then you know go on to the next video uh yeah it's all up to you you know you will know with for yourself if this resonates with you for example this weekend i was uh explaining to my mother what i what i mean by puzzle pieces right and i was explaining it to her in spanish because she doesn't she understands a little bit of english but not enough for me and then i i need to work on my spanish too because even then i'm like i get frustrated because i'm like what are we gonna do i tell her you need to learn <laughs> english but simultaneously i need to learn spanish right because i am responsible too in this community in us communicating right personal responsibility so what was the saying that she told me i told her to give me an example of something and there was something my, my grandfather used to tell her which is never leave for tomorrow what you can do today never leave for later what you can do right now right and so these are kind of like sayings that we hear and we're like whatever right me i used to hear these and i'd be like what ah, I, I know what i'm doing i'm gonna do what i want to do right wrong way of thinking uh remember pride comes before the fall that's why i learned my lesson on pride right so that's why now he's just appreciative and, and grateful to Father God for this video, for example. Um, and I get to share this golden nugget with you all, this puzzle piece. Uh, it's a golden nugget because if you, if you like that day, we, when was it yesterday? We were having that conversation, my mother and I. And as I explained that to her and I told her this, look, that saying, you need to reflect it over it, continually run it through your mind. You already memorized it. So now through the journey of your day of your week when does that apply and right away she told me i've been having this pan that i left outside that i've been telling myself that i'm gonna clean it uh tomorrow whatever right and it hasn't happened and and so that for example is exactly where this puzzle piece fits see i, I gave her i explained it to my mother she understood it uh, and I had her come up with a saying, a golden nugget that she was given from someone, right? Which was her father. 
and then I had her okay where does this apply I had her think about it and then she was like oh, okay I know what and it popped up into her mind right away so it's that's the cool thing about this is that once you start doing this uh, the correct puzzle piece right these these bits of wisdom once you run it through your mind and you ask when does this apply through my life it will father God will give it to you right your, your higher self the Holy Spirit if you're in Christ Jesus but even if you're not in Christ this will work for you too because it's it's information right I had the wrong for me for example I had the wrong way of thinking I would give up all the time on everything and anything and then I felt hopeless and all of that but now this puzzle piece now running it through my mind is like oh yeah just keep doing it Miguel keep making videos keep sharing keep learning uh because the only way to learn to walk is to begin to take steps you fall right when children they keep they never give up but let's play the video <laughs> uh, Miguel Imagine you're playing a game and there's a wheel you have to spin. The wheel is divided up into slices, but the catch is you don't know how many slices there are. There could be five or there could be a hundred, but all the slices start red. When you spin the wheel and you land on a red, that slice turns green. The goal of the game is simple. Land on green as many times as possible. You can spin as many times as you want and the only way to lose is to stop spinning. When you go through all of these steps, you come up with an idea you spend the time building it and then you spend the time marketing it and putting it out into the world. One of two things is going to happen. You're either going to get sales or you're not. If you get sales, the next step is easy. You double down on whatever worked. If you're selling wall art and the one that you made with a rocket ship design starts getting sales, that tells you that it's time to make more designs with rocket ships or other space related things. If you don't get sales, you're not going to like this answer, but the next step is to spin the wheel again. Go back to step one, come up with another idea or another design, and go through all the steps again. Some people playing this game are going to spin once or twice and hit red both times. They might complain that the game is rigged and that they probably have a wheel that has a thousand slices and their chances are lower than everyone else's. They'll see other people spin and hit green and think that they must have cheated somehow. They'll convince themselves that this game isn't worth playing and they'll stop spinning. The reality is, it doesn't matter how everyone else is doing. This is a one player game. The only thing stopping you is yourself and hitting red isn't a failure. When you come up with an idea and you go through the effort of actually building it and putting it out into the world, even if it doesn't work, it increases the chances that it will work next time. One, you'll be developing skills every time you do this and these skills are valuable. And two, you'll gain experience and insight into why your idea failed and you can learn from it and avoid making the same mistakes next time. I tried a lot of different things before my sticker shop hit it off. I made various attempts to grow an Instagram following with gaming content and photography. I tried to start a t-shirt company focusing on nerd type apparel that got nowhere. And somewhere in the depths of YouTube, there's a failed Pokemon channel that I started a long time ago. All of these red spins got me to where I am today and will play a part in whatever I do in the future. Remember, the more times you spin the wheel, the more green slices there will be. And the only way to lose is to stop spinning. So the more times we spin the wheel, the more likely that we land on a green slice. So it's just pretty much not giving up. Just keep going. Keep trying. Yeah, because that's why failure isn't failure. Failure is new information. It's like, okay, you tried it like this, this, and that. Okay, that didn't work. <clears throat> then you tried it like, you changed that, but then you kept this, and then you tried a new thing. This worked better. Okay, keep trying that. So in the same sense, that's that's how it is. When we play a game, that's what we do. We don't give up. We keep going. We try it again. But yeah, thank you all. Thank you for your time. Just wanted to share this with you all. This is, as I said, I'm running it through my mind. And, and this is a great example that we could use with our children too. So keep going. Keep going. Never give up. Never give in. God in his word gives us the keys 
to pass through the gate of rulership because this is a season of ruling and reigning and the father told me i'm going to give you keys in this season for 5784 for the door that we are going through it's not just for me i can't keep it to myself i have to share with my brothers and sisters and the other chosen ones because when we prophesy we only prophesy in part right and i have a piece of the puzzle that will help the next man or woman of god right so i have to do my due diligence by sharing what the lord gives Wake up to the sky. Your mind says we're done. The mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I'll never be in the Olympics. I'll never be a professional athlete, but still I grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, run at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Stay hard. Being accepted is one thing that killed me. And you have to learn what do you want in your life? 